What is happening guys? Welcome back. So we are going to carry on with the Mark 1 Golf. In the last one we got the intercooler and the radiator mounted into the car doing what they need to do and we started on the wiring tuck as well which you can see here. If you don't know what I'm talking about I've got a link up here somewhere to that episode. Go and watch that and watch the series in series. Right what we need to do now is get the engine out of the car and then we can start looking at cutting brackets off and starting to delete holes from in the engine bay that we don't need anymore. Now, one comment that I did have was that where I'd mounted the intercooler, it wasn't gonna work because the bonnet latch was gonna hit it. Look at that, that is what you call precision. The bonnet is sat down where it needs to sit. No wing that side, but yeah, sat down where it needs to sit and it's not catching, it's not gonna hit it. It will latch, it'll do what it needs to do. And everything that's there can stay. So that's that, let's get the bonnet off and start taking the engine out. That is it all removed from the car. Engine is sat down here. Um, and pretty much now I can really start taking it to pieces, tidying it up, cleaning it up. I think I'm gonna do everything on the engine black. I think absolutely everything on the engine black. There's a couple of little points I've got to try and work out. Now, this here, which I'm not even sure what it is. Ah, that relocates by the feel of it. it doesn't actually do anything. So that was interfering with the pipe. Um, at the radiator so by the looks of it i thought that went into the inlet but it doesn't it goes off round to the turbo apparently so i don't know what that is but we'll find out what that is and we'll be able to remove that and that isn't now a problem um i've rotated this around to get the plug around here i hope that's okay i hope that's doable but we've done it anyway um we need to cut this bracket down and then get rid of brackets that we don't need take the engine to pieces I say it's engine to pieces. We'll get the gearbox off, all the inlet off, everything off of it, the manifolds. We'll take the head off the block, take the sump off. I'm not taking the internals out of the head or the block, but we'll look at them, make sure they're checked, change the head gasket, paint everything, clean everything up. That'll be nice and neat. Loom and everything, sat over here. Again, we just need to go through all that. We're not really worried about it, but everything that I needed to remove has been removed from the car. Rack is still in, and obviously suspension still on because we need to be moving the car around still so what we're going to start on now first thing i think i'm going to do is remove these few bits that we can do and then yeah see where the day takes us and start welding it up Right, so brackets are all out of the car and looking good. I've started cleaning up around this turret area to get the seam sealer off because it just looks a mess. And for what we're going for, we don't really want seam sealer all over that. The next thing to do is to start welding up all of these holes. Now, I've gone round and started making some little discs for them. A couple of them need a little bit of cleaning up with the grinder. But the way that I've been doing that is off cuts of steel, center punch, set of calipers or a compass or whatever you want to call it, that scratch the metal and some tin snips. We're cutting them out roughly and going around and trying to sort of make them nice. Then we'll tidy them up on the uh, grinder with the sand disc. And then now we're going to start welding them into the car. We'll get a few done and then we'll make a few more. And then yeah, hopefully by the end of the day, the majority of this will be welded up.
Right, let's give you a little bit of an update on what I've been doing for the past two, two and a half hours. Passenger side, we've deleted some of the holes. I'm waiting for uh, some belts to turn up for finger sander to be able to clean that off. We need to make one for that one and do something with that one in there as well. Um, I've decided on the chassis legs, it's got this lip on, decided that side, we're gonna delete them as well. So I've done that. It doesn't look amazing because we're gonna have to fill it and sort it out, things of that nature. All the holes, similar to these, are gone from this side. We've welded a couple of holes up on the top as well and some holes in this here. We've welded up where the brake master cylinder bolted to there. And yeah, we're making some good progress. I'm absolutely filthy, but I'm enjoying it. And we're getting there with it. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that progress for how long we've spent on it. I'm now gonna make a few more discs and bits for this side. Um, plug weld some of those up and then we'll get this side to the same state as that side that's about the engine bay work done I'm hoping it'll be done tomorrow um, and then we can look at starting to fill bits in there get it looking nice and smooth ready for a nice bit of primer but yeah thought I'd do a little update I'm going to carry on and I'll see you when that is all done so after a lot more welding cutting grinding sanding and now painting the bay is pretty much mostly shaved so i've deleted the majority of the holes out of here we've got that hole up there still to do that i missed this i'm not 100 percent sure whether i need to delete the hole out of the middle because we're not running the master cylinder anymore and i don't know whether i can take that bracket out or not i'm going to do a bit of research on that one tonight uh, those two holes down there and those two there we're, i'm probably going to fill in as well to be honest um Steering column comes out there, the wiring loom comes out of there, and the heater pipes go in there. Obviously, the other ones went in there. Standard, we've deleted all the holes along there because I've now decided I'm just going to leave this in. I don't want to take it out. Um, all the holes down here are gone. And then I've deleted the seam from here, which did look a little bit like that. So what we need to do now is delete that seam from there. So the way that I did this was uh, get the grinder and slit down all the way along here in a section of it. We then put the grinder in sort of that way, cut all of this away, change to a flat disc and then flat disc it so it's sort of flush, so that the, the flat disc makes it flat, which means that if you can see here, there's a, a roll up on this, which means that it basically, both sides go to nothing and there's a bit of a gap in the middle. So I then cut either side and cut sort of a section of this out and then we make a new section out of new steel, put it in, weld it up, and it looks like this. Now the bait, it isn't perfect, a little bit of filler, and it will look a hell of a lot better. There we go then. So the bay is shaved, looking absolutely trick. Well worth spending the time deleting those two lines, I think. I think it just really tidies, tidies it up. Deleted most of the holes, so we need to work out what we're going to do with that, whether we need to delete the centre hole there. And if you can see, we've got two holes there, two holes there, put one up on the wing here. And we've got a little bit of other tidying up to do, which are going to be the next job to sort out. But I'm running out of time. Um, I've got to go home now and start editing this video ready for you guys to watch tomorrow morning. Um, so, yeah, that's what we've done in this one. Next one will be more welding, more sorting out, tidying areas up that I've not finished off. But that is that one then, guys. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Till next time, enjoy. Enjoy.